The DRS, the drag reduction system, is the device which allows the rear wing to open up on a straight. When activated, the system lifts the leading edge of the wing up by 70 millimeters, creating a much larger slot gap and reducing the frontal area of the car. In other words, the car has less drag, providing a boost to the top speed. The system contains an actuator mounted on the rear wing, connected to a linkage which lifts the wing up or down almost instantly. Usually, once the driver lifts off, the DRS automatically closes and the airflow reattaches to the rear wing to ensure that the driver gets their downforce back. 2016 rear wing, as you can see, before it was taller and narrower. From 2017, the rule changed and the rear wing became lower but much wider. Now the new season is starting and the rear wing will have again another massive modification. The new rules will have the rear wing taller, but most important, the flap will have a span of 20 mm bigger. So the effect of the rear wing and the DRS on and the DRS off will be much bigger, improving the overtaking maneuver. Around the circuit, there are DRS zones, usually on the longer straights, where the system can be activated. When a driver is less than a second behind a rival on track, they may use DRS to try and overtake the car ahead. Of course, it's not always a slam dunk move, and the driver with DRS has a lot to consider, such as braking point and positioning the car to make sure they're in the best position to leave a corner ahead of the driver they're fighting with.